Welcome to this, my second YouTube review video. Um, this one is a build and play set, which was listed as being Tinker Toys STEM Toys Kit. Uh, I'll show that to you. Uh, Tinker Toys STEM Toys Kit, Brain Flakes Educational Construction Engineering Building Blocks Kids Toys for ages 8 to 12, or 3 to 12. Uh, yeah, it actually says 3 to 12. Um, it's quite a range there. Anyway, um, let's open this thing up. And here is the inside. Um, I'm going to need to figure out how to merge these videos after a while. I just realized there's a pause that I could have used instead of stop. Uh, this opens, there's, as you can see, it comes in a lot of individual pouches. So let's pull some of these out. and and there are the instructions uh, laid out very similar to Lego where it's all pictures which then means that it doesn't really matter what your native language is you've got all, all the pictures right there with numbered panels so you can just follow the directions and wind up with the end design. At, at the beginning it's got a picture of everything that's in the kit. And then... Each one starts off with a picture of the finished product for that step. These are sealed bags, they're not Ziploc bags, but that's normal. There are the contents of the first two bags. Um, as you can see, there's some of the items in blue and one of the items in green and two items in blue and two of the items in orange are the same, just different colors. So you've got um, the one, you can pick your colors of the same item. And all the washers are gray and that's the only thing in this set that's gray. And all these are soft, they're flexible. Uh, the washers don't seem to be quite so flexible, but that's just because they're fairly small and thick. But it, all of these things are flexible. And they give you a set of little stickers in case you want to do put eyeballs on things. And um, they actually have eyelashes on them as well. Now let's open the next two packs. One thing that what I thought was kind of odd, there is one purple item, and it's in a separate uh, separate bag all by itself, which I thought is kind of odd. It seems to be the same type of material as the others. And yes, it's, it uh, is the same for all intents and purposes as the others, and I, I don't see any difference between it. it than the others, it's just the only one that's purple, and it's the only one of its particular shape. Now here are the rigid pieces and um, in case you're wondering there are exactly the same number as the kit a list of components includes exactly the same. Um, some s sets will uh, by other companies may include a spare of some things but in this case there's exactly the number of everything as the list uh, uh, component list includes. And here are the fasteners and the tools. Um, here there is an exception from the previous set. There are two extra of the short screws and two extra of the nuts. Um, there are, it calls for 26 of the short screws and uh, the, as you can see there's 28 of them and it calls for 34 of the nuts and there are 36 um, Of these everything is rigid except for these plugs. These plugs are si slightly rubbery Probably of the same material as the other stuff uh, But in any case uh, Those are rubbery everything else is rigid the 
wrench looks like an adjustable wrench but it's actually not it's a, a solid one piece the driver has a square tip on it which is designed to fit the insert on these and I'm trying to do it one-handed here because I don't have a stand well that actually works rather well you can see that the uh, tool is designed to fit the nuts and it actually fits rather snugly uh, the plastic is ever so slightly rubbery which gives it a little bit of grip on there it, the, the tip doesn't fit in all the way it, but it, do, it is rather um, secure fitting. The book at each step in, specifies both the components that you add and then the steps to put it together. So that makes it a lot easier. Um, the parts aren't necessarily to scale, but I mean, you can see that that hub is a lot bigger than the washer but if you look closely at, at the design that's that's the only thing that it could be because the only thing of a style like that and now I feel stupid because there actually is something more to that scale um, the gray washer and the white pieces are similar scale and um, again I'm trying to do this one-handed because I don't have a tripod or anything and I'm throwing stuff around too much for that to work well anyway anyway those are closer to scale and you can tell from the design um, that it's actually this other piece rather than the large wheel okay um, I'm going to have to try to do this no-handed um, eh, that's not going to work out too well. The nut fits quite snugly on the screw. And I just suddenly developed some common sense. I used some pieces in the kit to make a stand. <laughs> See, the screw and the nut are rather snug fitting, which you want because you don't want things to fall apart but it's not so snug that you need the tools and the directions do not talk about that I saw and I'll look again uh, do not talk about the tools uh, there's my impromptu cell phone stand using a couple of parts I didn't want to take much time for it The directions depict the tools and ever so briefly how things fit together, but I don't see that they depict the tools and how they actually work. They depict the direction that parts go together. But let's make sure that I didn't miss anything. Now it shows where things go similarly to how Legos handle things. There are some places where you have to wind up holding a lot of parts at the same time uh, where you have to get all those separate things one two three four holes lined up when you put that screw through it. Uh, the inside of the rigid pieces acts as a uh, retainer to keep to hold the nut so that you only have to tighten one side though once it gets to a certain point and that's very helpful um, I did find that some things are a little bit snug fitting but it, it all did go together uh, it's just that there's uh, limited space available there and that leaves the front a little bit angled 
but it works. At this point I will note that sometimes as you are working with one part, a screw on another part may come, come loose. Um, I had one of my sides fall off as I was working on the other one. And um, different kids and adults for that matter have different aptitudes. Some may not have quite the patience to work with it, but uh, I find that kids sometimes have more patience than adults, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. And, well, uh, by playing with things like this, some of them may develop a little more patience than they'd otherwise have. Two things I want to point out at this point. Um, I'm working on the assembly. The screwdriver or um, socket driver is indented for improved grip. And some of the plastic pieces, I don't know if you can see that on there. Um, some of the plastic pieces are textured to improve friction. I'm trying to get a little bit of, you can, I think you can see a little bit on there if you're watching this in high definition. Um, and it just occurred to me that I think I'm swapping orientation some. So um, hopefully it's not too difficult for you to follow. Um, but some of it, it would be prudent to point out that a lot of neurotypical dads will not have the patience for this. Um, if football is your thing, you might want to show your kid the first few steps and leave them with it uh, because you're probably go not going to have the patience for it. Uh, fortunately, that's not my thing. Um, I uh, am on the autistic spectrum myself. Um, so I've got a little more patience than what most guys would have. Hey guys, um, if you get frustrated with this thing and want to quit and throw it against the wall in the first 10 minutes, just keep in mind, this set wasn't designed for you. <laughs> Here's a really useful spot. They actually so show a reverse image of the same um, assembly. Here they show it from one side, and here they show it from the other side of the same assembly. That's really useful. And there's the final result. Complete with a spinning prop, uh, rubbery wings, uh, spongy tires. I didn't have any problems at all with the quality of this thing. Every issue that I had was a challenge to be overcome, not a problem per se. And that's exactly the target market for a, uh, a STEM-oriented toy. Um, I think that the age range may be a little bit optimistic. Um, it will, would be a challenge for a 5-year-old, much less a 3-year-old. It would be a bit of a challenge for a 10-year-old. Um, a 10 year old, 12 year old, 15 year old would have to get past the appearance of it. But once they get into it, a 15 year old would still find it a challenge and find it a lot of fun. Anyway, um, I don't know how much this ac kit actually costs because it was given to me as a sample to review. Um, but it, it is a lot of fun, and this was just with one of the models. It probably uh, took me an hour to put together. Of course, I was uh, doing it slowly and methodically, trying to figure things out as I went. Um, but, yeah, it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Um, so, thanks for watching this review. Appreciate it. Bye.